Para Instruments SX610 PH Pen Tester Tutorial What's in the Kit? User Manual Probe Soaking Solution pH 7.00 buffer solution SX610 pH pen tester Note, make sure there is a bit soaking solution in the probe cap for long-term storage. Fill it up when there's not enough. Short press the button to power on. pH calibration. Rinse the probe with distilled water and shake dry. Insert the probe into the pH 7 buffer solution, make a quick stir and hold still. Wait for the reading to get stabilized. Hold the key for about 2 seconds and release it once the cal symbol shows up. 7.0 pH will be flickering and end appears in a few seconds, then the tester returns to measurement mode. The M calibration icon appears, indicating the calibration is finished. pH measurement. Rinse the probe with distilled water and shake dry. Insert the probe in your sample solution, make a quick stir and hold still. Take the measurement after the reading is fully stabilized. After use, rinse with distilled water, shake dry, and put on the probe cap. Short press the button to power off. During calibration, if there is an error, there will be no 7.00 flickering, nor end appearing. And the tester will instantly jump back to measurement mode, meaning the calibration is not finished. Firstly, you need to check the calibration buffer solution to ensure that the probe is immersed in the accurate pH 7 buffer. Then recalibrate. If the calibration still cannot be completed, check whether there is any air bubble in the glass bulb. If so, hold the tester and shake it in the air a few times to remove the air bubble, otherwise it will interfere with the measurement. If there is no air bubble, it means that the probe is no longer functioning and it's time to replace it. Unplug the instrument housing. Unplug the old probe. Install the probe at the correct direction. Close on the instrument housing to finish the probe replacement. Recalibrate the tester before taking measurement. When powered off, hold the button for more than 3 seconds and release it to change the temperature unit. Application Notes Make sure to rinse off the probe with distilled water before and after each test. For protein and tough contaminants, we recommend to use a para-electrode cleaning solution. Soak the probe in the cleaning solution for half an hour, use a soft brush to clean off the contaminants on the probe and then rinse with pure water. Recalibrate before the test. The para probe cleaning solution can help restore pH probe sensitivity. For other special contaminants cleaning, refer to the table below. Notes. To ensure the success of calibration, the pH buffer must be accurate. We recommend replacing the pH 7 buffer after 5 to 10 times of calibration. The service life of the pH electrode is related to the nature of test samples and the frequency of use. Typically, when measuring general water solutions, the life of the electrode is about 12 to 18 months. 